The balsa tree is an important source of nectar for many tropical animals, like this white-faced capuchin. At night, it is particularly an important source of nectar and pollen for many bat species, including some of Costa Rica's largest bats, like this greater spear-nosed bat. Its smaller relative, the pale spear-nosed bat, can roost in caves of up to 400 individuals. Nice cave crickets live here too. Groupings of bats on the cave ceiling respond to different harems, where a dominant male takes care of up to 15 females. Females of each harem will groom each other, but are aggressive to females from other harems. In the cave, there are small groups of males, and some of them are planning to take over harems. Breeding patterns are variable, such that they breed all year round in Brazil, but breed only in the dry season in Costa Rica. Of course, with such high density, communication is important, and pale spear-nosed bats have a complex vocal repertoire of 20 different calls. That's as many as some primates. They also use scent and mark their spot on the cave ceiling using their throat glands. An individual bat can be told apart from all the others just by his scent. This bat lives from southern Mexico to southeastern Brazil and inhabits the lowland forests and agricultural areas in Costa Rica. They have very small tails. Sometimes bats get small holes in their wings that repair themselves. They will fly in flocks of about a dozen to visit balsa flowers in a trap lining fashion. Pale spear nosed bats are omnivorous and eat fruit, flowers, insects, nectar, and pollen.